director at Harvard Medical School, a research scientist and psychologist at Massachusetts General Hospital. And I'm one of the authors of a paper in this special issue, along with my co-authors Lillian Polanco Roman, Aaron Samuel Breslow, and Sherry Molak. And our paper focuses on structural racism and suicide prevention systems as they affect ethno-racially minoritized youth or youth of color. And what we do in this paper is we propose a conceptual framework um, demonstrating how structural racism impacts the systems that are serving both to prevent suicide um, and also to address um, youth mental health crises. And we really focus on this at the intersection of systems serving youth with three key examples um, from outpatient mental health services, schools, and our crisis care system. And what we hope to do in this paper is illustrate how um, these systems can both be um, important pathways um, to care and healing for youth, but are also impacted um, by the legacy of structural racism and current day practices. And so as one example, we address how um, the crisis care system in the United States is um, connected to the law enforcement system and in fact relies on the law enforcement system as a first line of care and how youth of color are disproportionately um, disadvantaged in these care pathways and through this may not benefit um, from the services that would help um, in suicide prevention, in preventing uh, future suicides as well as in preventing um, the mental health burden of suicidal ideation and attempts. And in illustrating this, we then also um, propose solutions. We focus on um, the idea that by uh, addressing a structural problem, we must um, address that with multi-level structural solutions, integrating across public health, clinical care, and health equity perspectives. And we propose solutions ranging from the policy level um, in improving the material conditions for youth of color um, all the way through the clinical care and training level and ultimately with the goal um, of creating systems um, that are preventative, uh, restorative, and community driven. And um, we hope that, that through this paper we stimulate um, additional thought and perspectives as there are a range of additional ways that one might look at this issue and a range of additional perspectives that need to be brought to bear on this problem. Through providing a framework, um, we hope to take a first step in that direction.